There is no greater public honor for me than the privilege of representing the riding of Simple Grey and the people and communities I know so well. Simple Grey is my home. I was raised in Alliston and I live in Wasaga Beach. My family has lived in this riding for more than 200 years. As a local product, I've grown up knowing about the people and the places in this area, and it has helped me to advance local concerns in Queen's Park. So is my experience. I am known in Queen's Park, and I know how to make our truck voice heard. I know how decisions get made, and I know who makes them, and they know me. This experience helped us win the battle that saw medical laboratories reopen to Tottenham and Standard, and an expansion of the lab in Saga Beach. And it will help us get the lab back open in Elmville, too. It helped me end the waiting list for dialysis in Collingwood. And it will help as we push for planning grants for a new hospital in Alliston and an expansion of the hospital here in Collingwood. It helped us gain new schools for Central Gray. Alliston Union is scheduled for a rebuild next year. The new high school in Angus is now open to students. And students at St. Paul's in Alliston are enjoying their new school open last year. I remain committed to rural schools like Dundrum Public School. I was disappointed by the school board's decision to close it. But I will continue to apply my experience in the fight for a rural school policy that works for single school communities. Most of all, my experience has taught me the importance of serving people at the local level and providing an impetus for progress and development. When apple growers in the Blue Mountains faced a devastating F2 tornado, I stood with them every step of the way. And Simcoe County farmers told me and Tim Hudak at a meeting here in the riding Back in, 19, back in 2009, that the farmers were struggling, I stepped up to bat to push for a business risk management program for all agricultural sectors. Nine months after I put forward and debated a resolution in the Ontario legislature, that by the way was voted against by the Liberals at the time, the government finally ceded to our demands and brought in the program we asked for. In Clearview, Angela Tosserano asked some members, local rate payers, and told me. They are concerned about industrial wind and solar farms being installed in their communities without any say. And I am proud to have helped bring their concerns to the forefront. And now my party has a commitment to only build these projects in places where they are wanted, welcome, and at prices great pairs can afford. In Alliston, I kept my promise to win approval for lights to be installed at the entrance to Greenbrier. After years of dipping up the heels of the Ministry of Transportation, they have now agreed to install lights to improve safety at that intersection. The same goes for Highway 26. My colleagues used to joke how many times I got up on my feet in the legislature to talk about the standard of calling with highway redevelopment. But that never bothered me because the people at Queen's Park, both politicians and bureaucrats, know that Jim Wilson won't stand idly by and accept a raw deal for his right. I'm happy to have, to have that reputation because it is the commitment of the people of Simple Gray that has been the hallmark of my years in public service. Over six, I'm asking the